Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install Zone Alarm on your computer. And Zone Alarm is a firewall uh, program. It's a free uh, program from uh, Zone Labs and Checkpoint. And uh, it's a basic, uh, basically it's a, a quite a good uh, firewall for your machine. Um, I think it's a little better than uh, the Windows firewall that comes with uh, most versions of Windows. Uh, a little more friendly to use. And I'll show you how to uh, configure it and install it and uh, use it. So first, let's go get it. So it's www.zonealarm.com. And go to download and buy. So free downloads. And there's two options here, one with a firewall and antivirus, and one with a, just a firewall. We want just the firewall, download. And then you got two options again. Um, the one to pick is the free firewall right over here and now you'll get the option to save it so I'm going to just choose to save it on my desktop so save as and desktop for easy access okay so now I should have that on my desktop yep, there it is so I'm just going to double click this and you get the user account control pop-up that says, do you want to run this, blah, blah, blah. Say yes. Okay, so you have two options. You have a quick install and a custom install. I like doing the custom because that gives me more control over it. So uh, let's go with that. Custom install. And click on agree. And then you'll see, oh, you got to check one of these two boxes to get it. So, you know, here's kind of the catch to the uh, free thing set zone alarm as a ser as uh, search as my home page and new tab for Firefox or as my default search provider for Firefox well I got Firefox and uh, I can change this anytime and easily so I'm just going to choose that one and uh, after I'm done I'll set it back to what it was before which I believe was Google so I click on agree Okay, so you have two options, auto learn and maximum security mode. Well, unless you want everything that is on your network locked down to the point where, you know, you can you may not even have difficulty getting to it, the, uh, you know, don't choose this one. Choose the uh, auto learn. And what auto learn does is that when you're running it, uh, when you're, you're running in that mode and you open something up that goes out onto the internet, and you know it goes out on the internet, you either allow it or, or disallow it, depending on what you want. So you can either block it or allow it to go out. Go next. And that's the mode I'm picking. And as you can see, it's installing the security tool, toolbar. I'm going to uninstall that, show you how to do that as well. I don't care for that stuff going on to my uh, browsers. It's kind of like part of the free thing. There's my Avast, more free virus checker. A video on that as well. And I'm doing this real time so you can understand how long it actually takes. Of course, it is downloading, so it's dependent on your download speed. All right, so now it's installing. I believe after it's done installing, it's going to ask to uh, reboot your machine. So I'll pick it up after that's done, if it does do that.
Just let it do it do its thing. Be patient. And as you see, I already have, I already have a desktop icon for Zone Alarm. And uh, under my hidden icons, more it, it'll show up also in here. Okay, you don't have to do this, so I'm just gonna uncheck that. I don't need any more spam than I have right now. Okay, so I'll click finish. And now you see it down here. Okay. And here it of course it opens up your browser. And you see that you have Zone Alarm toolbar here. I'll show you how to get rid of that in a minute. And this is in Firefox. Okay, so it says here your computer is secure and it gives you optional things like install the antivirus. Don't want it, I already have it. Um, and it says your identity and, and, and data are protected. So now you have protection on those two fronts. I have a, a vast antivirus on here, so I don't need any more than that. So I'm going to close this off. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, uninstall this toolbar because I can't stand them. I'll show you how to do that. So go click on here and then go to add ons. And you see right there, right? So zone line com 1.60 for zone toolbar for Firefox. First disable it and then remove it. It's going to ask you to restart. So let's restart. Okay, so there you go. Now it's gone. There's no more toolbar at the bottom. I like that. Back to normal. So I can close this out. And there it is inside your hidden icons. Um, if you right click it, you get all the options, right? Show monitor. We'll go look at that. That's what you already saw, right? And here you have update, you know. It says up to date. Of course, I just downloaded and installed it. It should be up to date. Uh, tools so you got game mode scheduled tasks preferences logs uh, game mode is, is allows games to communicate out with the uh, internet without uh, any issue so if you're going to play games and you're having an issue change this to game mode um, if you're having any problem connecting to the internet and you think it might be zone alarm just go back to your hidden icons here right click it and you'll see they have the option to uh, all the other, all the options you have, plus uh, some others like Zoom, Snooze, Firewall for five minutes, right? Or Exit. Okay, so you can just turn the Firewall off for five minutes; it'll come back on by itself. Or you can just choose to exit. And when you choose to exit, basically you're turning off your firewall, and you know whatever it is you're trying to get on the internet with, if it if or connect to something on on the on a network and you can't connect with, if it's the firewall causing it, once you exit. It shuts down. See, are you sure you want to shut down zone alarm? Say yes, and then you shouldn't have any issue connecting to your network um, resource. Now, if it's not the firewall causing it, well, then that's uh, you know um, another issue. But that's how you you know turn it on and off. And as you can see, it's gone now. So, um, see if I can turn it back on. Just double click the security here, and. My setup here, you can just delete that. There we go. Gone. And let's see, is my firewall running again? Yeah, there it is again now. Again, right click it and you get all the options, including help if you need any help with it. Okay? So, um, let's see. Let's see if I can trigger it to do something here. Um, hmm. Let's open up the browser. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer, see if it just says anything. No. It knows that program reaches out onto the Internet. So at this point, you're protected. Uh, you will get pop-ups now and again when you get things that are trying to connect to the Internet. Let's see if I can make it happen. And this is my SpyBot Search and Destroy. It's a uh, uh, anti-malware, anti-spyware uh, program.
Okay, so let's search for updates, see if that triggers it. Uh, yeah, okay, so my user account control is asking me yes. Continue. All right, so there, it's not triggering it, but uh, basically, if you have uh, a program that's connect connecting to the Internet or something trying to connect to you, Zone Line will come up and, and tell you about it. Okay. Uh, I also have a, let's go back, let's go to the control panel here for a second. And programs. Okay, and programs and features. So you see that you got the free firewall and the security toolbar. Well, I don't want the security toolbar, so I'm going to uninstall it. Okay, it's saying it's going to turn off my browsers. That's fine. And so now my my uh, that toolbar should be out of the out of here eventually or soon. Let's see if it refreshes and takes it out. Let's go back to control panel home here. Programs and features. There you go. So now I only have the free firewall installed. So that's how you install uh, Zone Alarm uh, free firewall. It's an excellent program. Uh, it's better than, uh, I believe it's better than the Microsoft firewall. And it's actually interactive so you can, you can actually use it. Uh, without any issue and it is free so that's it uh, I also made a video on how to uninstall it if you want to get rid of it uh, okay so you can go check that out thank you very much for watching have a great day